better. Definitely than what it was. But Can you take us through, I guess, what the recovery has been like and how, how hard it's been that Coach Holton has talked about you don't ever want to see a senior have to sit out, and you had to set up a couple of games, but obviously the big Villanova game. What has the last two weeks or so been like for you, and where are you as far as getting back to where you were before the injury? Uh, it's definitely been a little rough, but I mean, my guy's been handling business, so that's the that's the good thing. That's what I'm happy about. But I mean, it's been rough just having to sit out a whole week, just trying to get my vision back, recovering and stuff. But uh, hopefully, moving forward, it'll just continue to get better. What was the vision one of the primary side effects or, or what all did you have to deal with before you could get back on the court? Yeah, just mainly getting down the swelling and I had a little bit of double vision, so trying to get that back to normal and just recovering as well. Andre, it was it was a CJ Walker elbow, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How'd that go? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it was cool. I mean he was a little nervous to talk to me for a week there, but told him it's all right, it happens, moved on. You guys talk, have a battle about whose injury was more painful? Oh, no, it was definitely just, for sure, <laughs> for sure. Andre, um, did you consider playing with a mask on? I feel like that could have looked cool. <laughs> I definitely thought about the mask. I definitely thought I was going to go black mask, but we told him so. Yeah, it's going to be tough. But, no, they said I didn't have to wear anything, and I just felt like vision-wise, maybe cutting off my vision, off my peripheral would definitely hurt, so I just decided not to wear anything. It, it seemed Last like one, though. that happened, like, I think in the same spot, or nearly the same spot on the floor where you lost a few teeth last year. I'm just wondering if maybe you avoid that spot on the floor. Not for sure. They said they about to put a big X on that part of the floor <laughs> for me, just walk around it, move around it. But, yeah, this, that, that, that spot's got me a few times, so. Can, can I, ask, I just want to ask Justin, just for like a teammate's perspective, when you have a guy like Andre who's, you know, put his body on the line the way he has for you guys the, the last two years and seems to come back from, from those things rather quickly, just what's that do for you for the rest of the team to, to see a guy who's now a senior doing that kind of stuff? Yeah, you know, it just makes us go harder uh, every play. Uh, to see a, you know, a, a veteran like that, you know, get on the floor for, for balls like that, 50-50 balls. Uh, that's one thing, you know, coach tries to, emphasize for us, you know, we got to win every 50-50 ball, and obviously Dre is always laying his body out on the line for things like that. Um, you know, he's just setting a great example for, uh, you know, the younger group of guys on our team, uh, and you, it shows. Thanks, guys.